in a room with so many people I have worked with in a past life. Um, <laughs> I see many people almost there at every table that uh, I have worked alongside um, at the coalition, at the CICS, well, in prior, um, at the Paraplegic Association, at the DRC. Um, just, wow. Uh, so neat uh, that you're all here to support this project. We're thrilled to support this project, as Shirley has said. And uh, I actually, I like Shirley's vision of uh, one of these <laughs> everywhere. Um, and I think that really, Dan, what you're, what you're doing um, is showing people how to do it right. Um, they haven't figured that out yet, so it's good that you're going to be there to show them. Um, I, uh, as people who, people who know me now, um, would say, uh, I'm not much of an outdoorsy type of girl. I'm more of a Western, you know, heavenly bed kind of girl. Uh, <laughs> I'm um, but uh, that said, the little known past of Stephanie to do when Stephanie was Stephanie Homewood and lived in Lillooet was uh, my, my weekends were spent out at Fountain Lake catching tadpoles and making moss gardens and hiding from bears in the back of the truck. Um, and, uh, and in grade seven, I took fly tying as a course. <laughs> My dad still has the flies that I tied. They are the little woolly buggers uh, that I apparently had been to check. Um, so I am thrilled that you're going to have a place where I can feel comfortable coming um, and re-enjoying. Uh, part of British Columbia that I actually thought was a bit, a little bit lost to me after my injury. So we are here uh, in support, and and as Shirley said, patient and pushy are two things that get you great places in life. Uh, they also uh, they also make things happen over time, and there are so many people in this room uh, that have been a very big part of some of the things that we have accomplished in British Columbia for people with disabilities and on the inclusion, uh, the whole spectrum of inclusion. 